Yo, what's going on guys, Shader from Rock Pound Sound, and in this video, we're going to be recreating the main bass from Datsik and Virtual Riot's track, Nasty, and this is what it sounds like. So, really, really cool bass, and it's also super accurate, so if you guys like that sound, please hit that like button, and if you're new here, please click that subscribe button if you want weekly serum tutorials, because... You already know we got them coming. But anyways, guys, as I mentioned in the last video, we have an awesome pack launching this Friday. It's literally the best pack on the market for serum. But anyways, if you want a taste of the awesomeness, you can go ahead and click the link in the description below and you can download a free serum pack. Um, it's just like a demo pack of what's to come. So you guys can get a little taste, get a little feel of um, some of this things that are going to be in this pack and it's really awesome so if you guys want a free serum pack there's no reason not to go ahead and click that link anyways let's go ahead and jump right into this all right first things first guys the sound is actually super simple do not be fooled how complex the sound actually sounds it's actually really easy to make uh let's go ahead and jump right into this sound so First things first, for oscillator A, we're gonna go into our spectral waveforms and we're gonna choose Monster 5. Now just cycling through this, we do kind of hear a vowel-y sound and you know, that kind of strikes the idea, why don't we go ahead and we modulate it to kind of emulate the same kind of sound that we hear in the original track, so, which is like, yeah, so we go. Okay, now that's starting to sound like that. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to throw on LFO one here and we're going to modulate this backwards now this is the ramp that we're gonna form or the slope we're just gonna kind of create a nice little up up a ramp here so we're just climbing up here and we are going to turn this to one half maybe turn this down a tad bit and now that's really going to get us started with the sound um, we can turn up the voices here and this is going to really enhance the effect you know it's just it hits the it hits the sound really hard um as you can see here we're going to turn up the, turn down the detune and as soon as we turn out this random phase that's when we really hear it so once again it just hits the ground running uh yeah the detune and the amount of voices if you guys are on our email list you guys would have known this is actually a really awesome tool turning up the voices for enhancing your sounds and increasing the voices um and the overall stereo width of your sound uh we don't spam guys we just put out one weekly email on how you guys can improve your sound it's nothing <laughs> nothing big here but anyways yeah that's we're just going to leave this random phase down and uh yeah that's going to move us on to oscillator b here now oscillator b is just going to be a squelchy FM, which, where are you? I think you're in the spectral as well. Um, it's Squelchy FM number one. And here, we're going to be, wa what? We're going to be modulating the entire wave tail position of Oscillator B here. So, okay. So, Oscillator B, very vocal waveform here. Um, I actually think this waveform was actually originally made in FM8 and then um, just dragged in here, but I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna turn on bend plus. So really we're just squishing this uh, the frequencies inside. And what that's doing is it's taking away the hugeness of the O vowel that's actually being created here. So as we start to turn up the bend plus, we do start to use or lose that vowel uh, property that has and we're just going to turn this level to about 43%. And now into the voicing here, we're going to turn up our voices to, uh, we'll go eight voices here. Uh, we can actually turn this up to eight as well. That's what I had before. I completely forgot though. Um, turn the blend down. Okay, turn the blend down here. And basically we're just going to have the same options here. Phase, random phase at zero. All right, so if I play this, it doesn't sound too good. It sounds decent, but not quite the sound we're looking for. So into the filters, we're gonna go ahead and choose our high pass 24. There you are. And we're gonna choose our, our <laughs> we're gonna leave our cutoff all the way down here. Now here's one thing that you wanna keep in mind. We're not gonna turn on the filter for oscillator B here. We're gonna leave that off and just make sure it's turned on for oscillator A, which it should automatically be on. 
and here we're just going to turn on our last modulation for this whole uh, oscillator panel and we're just going to turn this up to whatever our heart desires um, it's whatever you guys really want the, of course the more cutoff that is or the higher the cutoff the more open the sound is going to be so it's really up to personal preference I'm going to leave it around 57 and then I'm going to turn up this resonance to about uh, we'll say 30 just so we can enhance the filter qualities and just really hear it a lot better and then maybe just turn up the drive a tad bit. Okay, now that's it for the oscillator section. Into the hyper, or uh, whoa, the effects. I'm jumping a little, um, okay, what? I don't know. Okay, into the effects section, we're gonna turn on our hyper and our dimension, our hyper dimension and our distortion. Oh my gosh, guys, what is going on? Uh, and here at distortion, we're just going to move before our hyper and dimension. That way it's gonna process the distortion first. So first things first, we're gonna turn on the post distortion and leave it on tube. And okay, I don't know why I cannot see my slope here, but uh, we're just going to leave this um, at point one, this little um, distortion here. We're going to leave the slope um, gain at 0.1 here, and we're just going to put it in about like the 1047. That's actually perfect. And we're going to turn the drive up all the way. Okay, and that's really going to start filtering some some of the frequencies, and it does actually add in a, uh, or a fil filters the distortion on certain frequencies, and it actually creates a really nice effect. If we turn this off... All right, of course, we're going to have to turn this down. <laughs> turn down the mix on the hyper, and then you guys know the deal with the dimension. Uh, low size, high mix. Okay, it sounds um, eh, kind of crappy right now, but once we turn on the compressor, the multiband compressor, ready? Okay, that's what we're talking about. Turn up the gain, and then turn on the distortion. As you can hear, it does add in a lower end kick to the sound. Perfect. Okay, and now we're just going to turn on the EQ and then turn down that lower end, you know, just we just want to kind of channel it so we don't have as much sub in it. And then maybe just turn up the higher end because it does seem like it needs to be crisp up a little. Maybe turn that down a bit. All right, so now it's time to get into our pitch modulation. Uh, before we do anything, we're gonna turn on LFO2, and we're just going to make it a down shape like this. Okay, and turn this on, what do we have? One half, we'll turn this on one half as well. And now we'll go LFO2, global, master tune. And we're going to make sure this is straightforward. So we're just going into the positives, and we're not dipping into the negatives on our way down. And um, we're just going to make it go up from, let's say, mm, negative two is good. Okay. Sounds good. You guys can already hear it coming together. And now finally, for L LFO number three, we're going to create a vibrato mo model. Model? I cannot speak today. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm really sick. So I'm a little uh, screwed up right now. Um, we're just going to create this vibrato model right here and we're going to do this by first turn on the trigger and then we're going to turn off bpm sync here and now uh, we're going to turn this stuff to about 10.6 hertz that's good and now we're going to get into modulating it to the master tune as well so move that on lfo3 global master tune and we're just going to make it bend up and down we'll say one yeah, up. it's going to go back and forth one. Make sure this type is going back and forth. So we are going from zero to one to zero to negative one back up to zero. And that's just creating a vibrato effect to, you know, um, it just, they did it in the original track. That's what we're doing here. And that's literally all it takes to make this sound. So I know it's really, really awesome tutorial, so if you guys thought it was an awesome tutorial, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Anyways, make sure you guys download that pack. It's a free serum pack. You got nothing to lose. I'm Shane from Rock Sound, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.